Mary Ann said in Wonderland, I invite you to come into my studio. I do a media I call wood assemblage. What do I do? I go out into the countryside and I barter or buy part of an old building. And in that process, I don't want the whole building. I probably want a minimum of four boards all the way up to eight. I don boots, take my crowbar, hammer, a uh, wonderful husband, Ron, comes along. Sometimes I ask friends who fiend that they're ill or out of town the next time because this is not a delightful job. I bring the boards back. I put them in, uh, well, I run them through a saw so that I get the veneer. Uh, and so I have shades of reds, grays, and so forth. And one building in red will not suffice a piece because I need many shades of red to give me the different colors and textures and so forth. So I'm going to be out there looking for more red barns or buildings uh, to accomplish one piece. As you can see, in order to be 2D, there are other materials that are also being used besides the weathered wood. Here are my tools, of course, ear protection. I'm currently going to be doing a piece that utilizes a color that probably maybe only a flower would like being done in that style. Um, and it's a process that um, I feel challenged by a commission I had to do, and I'm doing it 50 years later. Over the years, like I said, I've been doing this 50 years, I've had featured journalists do articles on me. And many years ago, one called me an art historian, and I wasn't sure what she meant. But as I've taken buildings down, I think we all need to take a second look at the barns that are fast disappearing and the craftsmanship, especially the hand-hewn beams that you will find inside. It's sort of sad, but you know what? I'm replicating them in the media I do. So I'm, I'm grateful that in some way, I see that they are not all being lost. Last year I did Art Splash. Um, and I was looking for a show in Iowa and found this, saw that there are other uh, artists that I know that were going to be doing it. And uh, first of all, I like that you call your event Art Splash. It's uh, a, two words that I think are very colorful. The staff and crew and volunteers were extremely helpful. There was a lovely dining experience where the artists are able to meet each other because at a show you don't really have time uh, to run about in, in other booths and see each other. So thank you for that experience in your lovely art center. And you know what? Let's hope in 2021 we all gather again at Art Splash.